Hey everyone, and welcome back to Beam and G Drive. I am continuing on with the time trials on Johnson Valley. Um, if you haven't seen any of the videos in this little series yet, I am just going through each map and doing the time trials the best I can. Um, I will explain more when I get into the next race, which, now that I remember, I want to switch vehicles for because it is the Dune Rally. I should have an all-wheel drive version of my Baja truck or something that will work. That would work. And so would the temp one. Let's go with this truck because I don't really drive it much. And it's the only one that I have like it that's all wheel drive. I could use the Rock Bouncer or the UTV or something, but I think this will be my best bet right now. Alright, so, Dune Rally. You're supposed to use a stem bucko, but I'm using my own vehicle for everything. Um, find your way to the checkpoints as fast as you can. One lap, no reverse, no rolling start. Let's go. Alrighty, Dune Rally. Run this open desert event where you just need to get to the checkpoints as fast as you can with no set route. And then typical time trial stuff. This one is kind of a pain in the butt with the stem bucko just because it is slow and it doesn't have the greatest suspension for jumps and stuff. But it does make a pretty fun desert truck. Um, Philman88, I think his YouTube name is, made a mod for the stem bucko that made it have two engines instead of one. Like that one big Dakar rally truck. Can't remember the name of it or anything at the moment, but it was nuts. And the mod is decent, They're pretty fun to drive. But this just handles it better. This truck was built for uh, West Coast USA to deal with all the jumps and stuff, hills. So it's built to handle really good on the street and then, uh oh, take stuff like this. <laughs> it does need a bit of a tuning though. Um, either way, as I was explaining before the race, Some time ago, I went through and did all of the missions. I did of course miss a few due to updates, but I did most of the missions and recorded it. But not. So now I'm just going through time trials and doing the best times I can get. I'm not going for a world record or anything, mainly because the people that got the world records cheated by using, for example, oh no, for using, by example, for example, a hopper with no body on it, just the chassis, and then they would, like, cut corners, blatantly go the wrong direction, blah blah blah, just, I don't consider it counting, because they didn't use a proper vehicle, and they didn't actually follow the course, so... I'm just going for my own personal best. And if it's good, it's good. If it's not, it's not. I'm sure with a better vehicle. I'm using this because it's all-wheel drive and handles the sand a lot better. But it's not tuned for this, so it's not doing that great. Ooh, I should have used my toy FCV. If I crash again, I will grab that instead, because it would do amazing at this. I can't believe I forgot about it. It was built for this. Well, Baja. Not necessarily having fun on the dunes, but... I made an FCV that is faster than a trophy truck. 
It is nuts. Okay. I don't want to crash necessarily, but if I do, I'll switch. I also don't spend much time on this side of the map. I'm usually either uh oh doing the Baja stuff around the other side or rock crawling. Seems like the engine is not happy. I'm only halfway, I don't know if I'll be able to finish before the engine locks up because of running out of oil. So many people don't realize how important oil is for an engine. It doesn't just, like, lubricate. They don't put it in just because they can. The crankshaft, for example, doesn't have bearings. They're called bearings, but they're not like ball bearings or anything. It's the oil in between the crankshaft and engine block that keeps it from touching and heating up and like seizing and stuff. Not normal bearings. And so many people neglect oil changes and whatnot. Okay. I will switch to the FCD because it should handle it a bit better. Do 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 this thing or should I use the electric one? There we go. The Stam Bucko does handle this better, technically, but it's so slow. Which is why it does better. You don't get as much air or anything, but like I said before, it's lacking in the suspension travel. But this thing. has a fair bit of suspension travel for what it is. It's super fast and handles very well. And if I keep in a higher gear than I need to be in, I can use the wheels to uh, adjust the car's position in the air because of a centrifugal force. You've probably a couple times already where I've tapped the brakes or something in midair to bring the front down or up or turn to make it go to the side. I don't know if I'm going faster than before, but it's definitely going better than before. Like right there, turn left, hit the throttle, bring the front of the car up. This would be so much fun in real life. I would love to get into Rally or Baja or the car. Oops, uh oh, or something. This car is pretty strong too. Like that definitely messed it up a bit, but for the most part, I'll just take this all. too hard to see in first-person camera, even though I much prefer to be using the camera. Which is why I do the double camera thing. Go back and record the replay for another angle or two so that I can use this camera like I like to. And uh, still have an angle of outside the car. So everyone watching can see what the car is doing, and it's a bit more interesting to watch. It does not like bushes, though. The bushes in this game will shred your vehicle. It's crazy. Lots of wheel spin from being on the sand. 
it's doing all right. I don't want to get too much air coming up here and launch myself off the side. Along here, however. Whoa. Uh oh. Be free! You are free now. Do whatever you want. I'll be rolling around and I'll lay down for us. Yeah, even missing a wheel, this thing's still going no problem. Well, a little bit of problem, of course, but... It's... Crazy little car. Come on. There we go. It's a little hard to get up to speed when it's like this, because all the... Power wants to go through the wheel that's in the air. But... Wiggle around a bit and keep that grip wheel on the ground, it's fun. Definitely could have done better, but that one's a pain. Ooh. For three stars, you have to do six minutes and 30 seconds, and I got 417. Yes, that's with the Stembucko, but not bad. I love this car. It's crazy. It's so much fun to drive. It's in my configuration pack, which will be... In the description, like usual. Okay, that was Dune Rally. Time for short course A. Ooh, what do I want to use for this? I could just keep using this. I'll use this for now. Why not? Except. I want to use the electric one. Where'd it go? Way up here. I want to use the electric one, because why not? It's like driving an RC car. It's a lot of fun. Short course A. Small config of the short course. Player vehicle. Got a beat. 107. Alright. This should be interesting. It starts me in park for some reason. Oh, it's so weird not hearing an engine. I, I can't even really hear the motors. I think this has a motor in the front and the back. And... It's tuned pretty much exactly like the gas power one, or the ICE one, whatever. Except the slight differences. Like performance-wise, they're basically the same. They're tuned a little bit differently because of the different weights and whatnot. But there's just something about this thing that is so much fun. Especially online, fly past someone in this thing out on the normal like Baja trails or something. It's hilarious. Just this little silent car flying by them. 104. I'm happy with that. I'll just continue. I only redo them if I have to. If I'm happy with the first time, I'll just stick with the time. All right. I think the next one starts in the same spot. Short course B. Yeah, it starts in the same spot. Alright, let's move on to this one. I have to beat 106. Take the alternate small config of the short course. Okay. It feels so weird not shifting gears either. As a whole, I don't really like electric cars like Teslas, for example. I think 
we really need to work on how we create electricity before we really move on to electric cars and we need to make them cheaper and better for the environment rather than having to mine so much for them and so on and so forth blah 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 but the performance of them the way it feels and how it's basically just silent pure torque is nuts because like unlike an engine that has a torque curve a power curve or whatnot a certain RPM where it has the most power. An electric motor? Really? I didn't even... Okay. An electric motor has all of its torque 100% of the time. It's crazy. And no, an engine and a motor are not the same. Internal combustion engine. Definition is right in the name. It uses internal combustion to power it. it. Creates its own power. And a motor, whether it be electric, or hydraulic, or whatever, uses an external power source. I love these cars. Using the the wheels too long. Adjust the pitch and rolling the power. Control and run. There's just so much control in this. <clears throat> Excuse me. As my throat decides to be all weird because of my allergies. Okay, better than last time. Let's go. There we go, much better. <clears throat> much better. I'm happy with that. All right, time to move on to the next one, which I think is just the next setup on this track. Maybe tell me what you think of this car in the comments. It's also in my configuration pack, so you can even try it out yourself, but you like it, do you not like it? If you've driven it, is it fun? Should I change the tuning somehow? Let me know. Alright. Time for a long layout. I know this track fairly well. So, this shouldn't be too bad. I typically do a lap of this track before I hit the other trails when I'm just doing Baja practice. Except these banked corners in other vehicles, I can drift a lot around. And usually go around a bit faster. It seems like this car doesn't want to go around these all that fast. It's not bad, but I could have gone around it faster. This car doesn't slide like the other one does because you can't use, well, with vanilla parts at least, you can't use a limited slip differential with the electric motors. This has open differentials, whereas the one with the 5-cylinder in it has limited slip. Uh-oh. Wall. Mm -hmm. 106. Three seconds faster. That's not bad. I'm happy with that. I will likely go through them all again at some point. But, whatever. This car is so much fun. It's a funny sounding horn. I hardly ever honk the horn. Never have a reason to, so I don't usually know what each car sounds like. Crankshaft pass. A high speed off road time trial with a long straight and technical section. This is 
the route that I usually take anyways. I usually come from the track, like I said, and then down along here, and then up this way. That's that one jump, and then over to past the, um, the pits, and then back around, except for I usually come this way. Or no, that way. Not around it, so. Um. You know what? I'm gonna use the five cylinder version of this car because why not? I wanna see how well it goes. I always think it's lower down in the list for some reason. I love this car. Partially it, because it reminds me a lot of my old focus. Player vehicle, I gotta be 5 minutes and 30 seconds. Alright, can you handle this? the speed of this course? Of course you can. Off we go! I likely only have enough time to do one attempt of this, but that's fine. And because of the track, we can't go over the jump. I usually go over the jump and then use the handbrake to turn right here to go this way. Now, this car of course doesn't have as much suspension travel as the trophy truck, or even the hopper, <laughs> but it just skims over the top of everything. It did handle a bit better before, but then I changed the, uh, the tuning a little bit. And it doesn't handle quite as good as it used to. But it is really fast. Whoa, okay. And then that happens. I will use a proper vehicle for this. <laughs> oh jeez, I just couldn't help myself. I really couldn't. I really want to use my Baja Hopper so bad, but I'm trying to get the best times I can, so trophy truck it is. Here we go again. Alright. Oops. I'll have to shut it until the last second. Um I wish I could be driving the super. I would love to build some kind of like off-road Baja super. I would I wouldn't use a normal production super to do it. I would make a replica body. That way I'm not cutting up a real proper Supra. So it's only my favorite dream car of all time. By the way, make replica bodies out of fiberglass or carbon fiber, aluminum even. And then just either do custom chassis or something and make one like a jeep drive train up bit. Make one that's long arm independent front end with some kind of four link rear on the trophy truck. I think that would be super cool. Yeah, that. The toy FCV. Yeah, it's. Oops. I forgot this is only rear wheel drive. The toy is really fast and it does handle this quite well, but it just it doesn't quite have the suspension travel to really, really do this. And like I said, it was tuned a little bit better to handle the bumps and jumps better, but 
the cornering wasn't as good. So I changed a bunch of stuff to help with the cornering. But now it doesn't handle the bumps and jumps as well as it used to. This thing, however, has just slowly gotten better and better as I've slowly come back to it. This is pretty much the best I've gotten so far. I don't know if it's better or worse than the uh, vanilla configuration, but for me, personally, it is much better. And there's a wall. Don't roll, just don't roll. Really? Alright, well, I don't have time to try again at this point. Unfortunately, I've got two and a half minutes left of recording time. A bunch more recording to do. So, uh, do, 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 there we go. I am going to end this video here, unfortunately. After I switch to the Baja Hopper. As it is also. Awesome. Either way, I will start off next week's video with Crankshaft Pass. Um, if you'd like to check out any of the vehicles, including this, the FCV, my tune for the trophy truck, whatever, a link to my configuration pack will be in the description below. Although, I am working on one final update for it, so just bear that in mind. Um, yeah, as usual. If you have any tips, tricks, questions, anything you want me to check out or do, leave in the comments below, as always. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.